so hello guys welcome back so we will continue this from the last class so here we want to match the list 1 and list 2 so specific speed of the pump so what is specific speed specific speed means it is defined as the geometrically similar pump so whereas it delivering 1 meter cube per second of water against a head of against a head of 1 meter okay against a head of total head of 1 meter okay this is known as a specific speed of the pump so it can be represented in the formula ns is equal to n root q divided by h3 by 4 okay here n represents the specific speed and in rpm whereas q represents the discharge in meter cube per second okay discharge in meter cube per second and h denotes the total head of meter total head in meter so so n s yes, here so n denotes the speed of the pump speed of pump it is in rpm okay so geometrically similar pump geometrically similar pump here in list 2 they had given this geometry similar pump so a and then constant discharge so whereas for constant discharge we can use the positive displacement pump so positive displacement pump in the sense reciprocating pump and the rotary pumps comes under this okay so rotary pump and the third one is well characteristics curve so well characteristics curve means it has the relation between the drawdown so this is the diagram it represents this line represents the drawdown and uh, this dot lines represents the discharge okay discharge so it uh, it forms a curve between the drawdown and discharge okay discharge is just drawdown relation so for this option 4 option c here and then option b is here and for performance curve centrifugal pump is used centrifugal pump so this performance curve which consists of so input value so power input okay power input efficiency and head okay these three things are com comparatively in this centrifugal pump so there are three types of curve in this one is a head capacity curve another one is efficiency curve and another one is a power curve okay so discharge versus total head so for d it is one is the option so option three is the correct answer we move on to the next question the characteristics curves of a centrifugal pump show the interrelationship between so last slide only we discussed about this characteristics curves of a centrifugal pump so what are the things we discussed in that power input efficiency so on head efficiency and head okay so these three things are major head capacity and then power we discusses so coming to this so capacity is head a is correct now uh, head uses power no capacity uses efficiency correct and capacity uses power is also correct so option 4 is the correct answer a c d is the correct answer so next question centrifugal pumps are classified based on so so it is primarily classified according to the seven following basis okay first one is what is the type of energy conversion type of energy conversion in this there are two types one is a volute or diffuser type one is volute and another one is a diffuser type 
so coming to the second one it can be classified based on number of stages okay number of stages means there is a single stage and there is a multi stage okay multi stage pump so the third thing is impeller types based on the impeller so there are open type impeller so closed type semi open type and non clog impellers okay non clog impellers and the fourth one is type of suction inlet suction inlet so in suction inlet there are single suction and double suction okay there are two types single and double suction so fifth one is construction of casing so construction of casing one is a vertical and another one is a horizontal this is horizontal and another one is a vertical okay construction of casing so on sixth type is axis of rotation axis of rotation so rotation in the sense it is horizontal or vertical horizontal or vertical so on seventh one is method of drive okay method of drive so method of drive means it is direct connected directly connected or coupled or close coupled or belt driven okay belt driven so these seven are the basic classifications so in question they had given type of energy conversion number of stages correct type of suction inlet and impeller types now we have discussed so construction of casing yes whether it is horizontal or vertical axis of rotation method of drive this statement is also correct so except e all those are correct a b c d a b c d so option 4 is the correct answer okay next question the quality of the irrigation water is generally judged by its so quality in the sense so first we want to check the total salt concentration and the second relative proportion of cations and contents of bicarbonates and boron yeah so test and color we do not want for irrigation water okay so a b c so option 3 is the correct answer okay so next question so excessive soil salinity and alkalinity may adversely affect the plant growth so excess salinity and alkalinity will affect the plant growth so by what ways here they have given the question increasing the osmotic pressure in soil solution exactly correct and accumulating the certain ions in toxic concentration in plant tissue so this accumulation of ions will reduce the plant growth okay so this statement is also correct by altering the plants mineral nutritional characteristics when the salinity or alkalinity get increases it also affects it uh, drastically changes the mineral nutrition characteristics okay so a b c is correct increase in rate of no it cannot increase the rate of photosynthesis of the plant so a b c is correct so option a is the correct answer okay next question poor quality of irrigation water can be improved by the following management practices here they give a list of statements we want to find the correct statement so poor quality irrigation water we can improve by adding the sodium and bicarbonate rich water by gypsum application yes this statement is correct gypsum by adding gypsum we can improve the sodium and bicarbonate rich water so and then so we can grow salt tolerant crops okay salt tolerant crops so here they have mentioned size of salt tolerant crops and varieties of proper irrigation manner this statement is also correct and we can use a optimum fertilization and manuring so it also improves this statement is also correct and maintaining the shallow ground no this is not correct instead of this they are using the breaking of any impervious layer any impervious layer by deep plowing okay by deeping by deep plowing we can improve the quality of the irrigation water okay breaking up any impervious layer by deep plowing so these are the characteristics and management practi practices to improve the poor quality of irrigation water so a b c is correct so option 3 is the correct answer okay next question in land leveling the cut fill ratio usually ranges from so the cut fill ratio means so cut fill ratio so it is defined as the 
it is defined as well as it is computed by subtracting the subtracting the original elevation original elevation of point from original elevation of point from formation level okay formation level so here you cut the area of sand and you can fill in this area so this represents the cut fill ratio so the value usually rise between 1.2 to 1.6 okay so option 2 is the correct answer in land leveling there are four methods land leveling one is plane leveling okay another one is profile leveling profile leveling so another one is the so third one plane inspection method and the fourth one is contour adjustment method contour adjustment method so these are the several methods of land leveling so questions will be asked in this so next question recommended length of run for border and furrow method border and furrow method of irrigation in iri clay loam soil so we want to find the recommended length of run so for sandy and sandy loam soil for sandy and sandy loam soil the recommended length usually varies from 60 to 120 meter okay for medium and low soil medium and low soil the recommended length varies from 100 to 180 meter okay for clay loam and clay soil clay loam and clay soil the recommended length of run of border is 150 to 300 meter so this is the table questions will be asked around this so in this question we want to find the clay loam soil it is 150 to 300 meter okay option 3 is the correct answer next question sorry which method of land leveling is frequently employed by many experienced surveyors in last slide only we discussed about the leveling methods here they are requested to find out the frequently employed method the frequently employed method is pro profile method okay in this profile method it is a trial and error method trial and error so it is used to adapted for the design of very flat lands so very flat lands or land with undulating topography land with undulating topography so other than this so it is a trial and error adjusting the grades so until the irrigation criteria is met we can adjust until the irrigation criteria is met okay so at last itself we can adjust the grid lines okay it can be used as a experienced worker so we can use so this profile method is a plotting of profiles of grid lines and then laying the desired grade on the profile so see the diagram here so this is the design profile at last we can calculate the original profile okay so original profile we can calculate after the design criteria so we can adjust these lines according to our so according to our need so for this question the answer is profile method option 2 is the correct answer so we move on to the next question so next question we can see in the next class so hopefully you understand these questions which may be useful for you to solve the questions in examinations if you have any doubts please let me in the comment section we can i can solve so thank you very much for watching videos